Greetings fellow gamers! First and foremost, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for your unwavering support. Thanks to you, our channel has reached a significant milestone of 200 subscribers. I couldn't have done it without you and I truly appreciate it. In today's video, I am thrilled to announce a brand new series called Stand United. This series will delve into the intricacies of using Shen's Ultimate more efficiently. As many of you may know, Shen's Ultimate can sometimes backfire, causing you to lose plates, gold and experience on top, among other things. This can be frustrating and may even cause some players to abandon the champion altogether. However, I'm here to tell you that Shen is a formidable macro champion and mastering his ultimate is crucial to your success. In this video, I will focus on the critical aspects of using Shen's ultimate, which I will call Discipline. Discipline is paramount when it comes to Shen's ultimate. Often, our first instinct is to save a teammate who is in trouble, only to realize later that our ultimate was not the best decision. To illustrate this point, I will provide two examples, one of a bad discipline and one of a good discipline. So buckle up and let's dive into the world of Shen. Let's check them out. To give you some context, I am playing as top laner and am slightly behind the enemy Trandomir. However, our bot lane is doing well and our high main dinger is absolutely dominating the game with a 700 gold shutdown. During the game, our Zeri made a bold move by invading the enemy jungle and I had a split second decision to use my ultimate to support her. Unfortunately, Zeri ended up dying, but our high dinger was able to rotate and secure a kill on the enemy Samir. But when looking back, the ultimate was not worth it for one kill. After all, while my ultimate is on cooldown, Heimerdinger's shutdown is exposed to be taken. Fast forward a bit, my ultimate had less than 30 seconds left, but Heimerdinger got caught and gave away his 700 gold shutdown to Silas. If I had been more disciplined and saved my ultimate for Heimerdinger instead of using Nozeri, he might have survived. Winning the game was great, but if the enemy team had better scaling, that shutdown could have been a real problem. Lesson learned, with more discipline, I could have saved Hyman during the shutdown and made it easier to snowball. In the next example, I have a Lilia and a Jin who have shutdowns to protect and I go in versus a Fed Gragas and a Graves. During the game, Brains head toward top lane but gets ambushed by the enemy Gragas and Graves. And instead of using my ultimate, this time I decide to exercise discipline. And I don't use it on brand, as we'll put it on cooldown and prevent me from saving my other teammates' shutdowns, Lilith and Jin. I try to run from Gragas, and shortly after, Lily is caught by the enemy team, and I have to use my ultimate on a precise time, saving her life, taunting Kaiser, securing the kill on her, and then taking down Gragas and Grips, getting their shutdown in the process. You can see that my use of discipline was effective in protecting Lilia and secure our team's success. Not only did you save Lilia's shutdown, but also got fed from the fight, allowing me to get back into the game, helping snowball and ultimately secure our team's victory. In this video, we've discussed the importance of discipline when using Shen's ultimate. Two examples have highlighted the need to prioritize and save shutdowns, and also the risks of being left without your ultimate when you really need to save a teammate's bounty. It's crucial to strike a balance because depending on the situation, it might be better to save your scaling and carrying a decisive team fight rather than the accidentally fed support with a bounty. So remember, this is just a guideline that works for most cases, but should never be set in stone for every situation. After all, there are always exceptions. Additionally, I would like to add that Discipline Ultimate englobes the category of Reactive Ultimate which is the use of Shen's R to stop the enemy's attempt to kill your allies. In the upcoming Stand Unite series videos, we also explore other types of ultimates, more reactive ultimates, but also include proactive ones. Our next topic is gonna be the idea of readiness for ultimates, which encompasses both reactive and proactive ultimates. So stay tuned for the next video of this series in the following weeks. And finally, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you all for helping us reach 200 subscribers. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by dropping a like, leaving a comment with any questions or feedback, and subscribing to our channel. 
I appreciate your support and I will see you in the next time.